What's going on Ed Bates here today, I am doing 50 things about myself. Basically, I'm going to say you 50 things about myself. I decided to use this, this web page and it has 50 questions just of like how, how you'd get to know people basically. Yeah, let's let's start this right there. Number one, what was your favourite food when you were a child? Favourite food? What's my favourite food? Biscuits. Yeah, I, I, that was a no-brainer. It's got to be biscuits as in ow. They're so nice. And then you get all the different flavourings of biscuits. Like the custard creams, the chocolate ones, the caramel ones. Oh man, they're so nice. Next question. What was the most played song on your iPod? My most played song ever, probably The Man by Aloe Black. I just loved it. I love that song so much. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. It's so good. What is one of your favourite quotes? That's easy. It's clearly your mum. Uh, no, that's wrong. I will shank you in the Gabberman eye. What's your favourite indoor, outdoor act of football? Obviously football. Everyone knows. Number five. What chore do you absolutely hate doing? See now it's getting it's it's towards summer now, isn't it? But we do the garden to make it look nice and stuff. And then sometimes I earn money if I help do the garden. But the one thing I hate doing the most is pulling the weeds out of the garden, man. They're so stupid. They're so annoying. It's just boring. You just you're just sitting there on your hands and knees, just pulling, just pulling at some little green thing that, that wants to be called a weed. So you know, if that was called a flower, you wouldn't be pulling that out, would you? Question six. What is your favourite form of exercise? My favourite form of exercise would have to be doing sit-ups. Just be like, boop, boop. Question number seven. What is your favourite time of day slash day of the week slash month of the year? Favourite time of day? Probably around four o'clock because we're home from school we're doing nothing virtually favorite day of the week has got to be Sunday because you play football on a Sunday in Sunday league that's saying the obvious oh my god I'm so dumb month of the year favorite month of the year got to be August because you got that whole month off from school you can do whatever you want in that month and it's nice outside and it's hot outside so it's got it's got to be August number eight what's your least favorite mode of transport is the bus the bus is so boring especially when you when you're sitting next to people who are just they're just like sneezing and coughing and everything and then you want them to shut up it annoys you that much when they just get <coughs> <coughs> It, it, it. it annoys you when they're doing that. Annoy you. you just want to slap them. You want to slap them because of these little things that annoy you. Question number nine. What is your favourite body part? Now, people probably expect to say bum. But it's not. It's not the, the chest area either. It is the legs. Because I love legs. I don't know why. It, they're, like, uh, they're, just, they're just on point. Okay. Question number ten. What sound do you love? I'm not the perfect one for this. The perfect sound is at the end of a school day when you hear that final bell. You want to just jump on a table and celebrate, man. Just be like, yeah, no school! And especially on a Friday, and even more on, on the, the last day of the term. Number 11. If you could throw any kind of party, what would it be like and what would it be for? Any kind of party, just like, just a random party. A YouTuber party, because all the YouTubers just together and stuff, man, that would be so good. Number 12, if you could paint a picture of any scenery you've seen before, what, would, what the hell is that question? If you could paint a picture of scenery, what would you paint? Picture of scenery, I've got no idea. I can't draw anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, if I, if I was to try, try and draw like a field or something, it'd just be like like a, a green blob on, on the page. And then maybe I'd draw a cow. it will be like a little brown blob on the green blob. And it, yeah. 13. If you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what would it be? It'd have to be 21. 21? It'd have to be 21. Like, there's nothing stopping you, like any age restrictions or anything. Question 15. If you could choose anyone, who would you pick as your mentor? 
I mean, if it's a sport mentor, I'd choose Messi. Question 16. If you could witness any event, past, present or future, what would it be? The dinosaurs, man. The, ex the wipeout of the dinosaurs. If I could witness that, that would be like, yo, that's how they died. You know what I mean? That's... That's what happened to them. So yeah, yeah, it'd have to be the, the death of the dinosaurs. Question 17. If you could learn to do anything, what would it be? It it would have to be... Boom! Time travel, man. If I could learn to time travel, then I'd be a boss, you know what I mean? Question number 18. If you had to work on only one project for the next year, what would it be? It would have to be... I've got no idea, it'd have to be travelling the world and doing something while I'm doing that because that's all I can think of really that'd be the main thing, so yeah if you were immortal for a day what would you do? if I was immortal I'd probably like go to space because think, you'd be out, you'd, you'd rob a rocket innit you'd, you'd go to you'd go to NASA take one of their rockets and then you'd, you'd just go to space innit 20 if you had to change your first name what would you change it to? You have to change it to something cool, wouldn't you? You can't just have like a name like, like for for example, Max. It has to be something exotic, you know. Let, let, let's Google exotic names. Let's see what comes up. Isis, Isis. Oh, the, the website slash baby names slash exotic names. Isis. Nah, I'm I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you this just to prove it, man. Look at this. Down down here. Down here. Isis, you know, that's not a name. That's not a child's name. Egantius. Oi, that's a sick name. Egantius. That sounds strong, you know. My name would be Egantius, you know. If you could meet anyone living or dead, who would you meet? It would have to be the guy that can't stop laughing after an operation. I'll show you the video now of the guy who can't stop laughing after his operation. Everyone needs to be like this guy. Everyone needs to be like him, man. He's so he's so good. If you were reincarnated into an animal slash drink slash ice cream flavor, what would it be? Let me just say something. Let me just point this out. Why would anyone want to be reincarnated into a drink or an ice cream flavor? Where are they getting this from? You only want to be incarnated into an animal, wouldn't you? So you could be another human. You could be a cat. Why would you want to be a cat? That's so dumb. It has to be one of them big snakes, isn't it? And big snakes that just eat people for breakfast. If you could know the answer to one question besides what is the meaning of life, what would it be? It would be, why is a word called a word? Why can't a person be called a door? You know what I mean? That the world would be populated by 7 billion doors? If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? It would have to be Ash from Pokemon. The Pokemon's sick anyway, and Ash is just a beast because he wins everything and he like his friends are all with his people and stuff. What do you want to be when you grow? That's a bit obvious really. It's either a footballer or a YouTuber, man. Yeah, any of them too would be such great things to aspire to. It'd be it'd be crazy. When you have 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass the time? There's only one thing for that really, isn't there? No, I'm I'm joking. Okay, I'm joking. That doesn't happen all the time. What was the last movie, TV show, or book that made you cry or tear up? Now, I'm not gay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gay. But, I didn't cry. So, I'm still a man. I still count as a man. But, I kind of teared up to the fault in our stars. Which is understandable. Okay, it's understandable. So, you can't, you can't judge me for who I am. I'm an emotional person when it when it comes to stuff. But why would you tear up to a book? It's just paper. 34. What's the hardest thing you've ever done? Um, labour. I gave birth to a, a baby, a baby hippo. My mum hole is like, it's, it's like, it's like that. 
it's like that. Man. No, I'm joking. I, I didn't give birth to a baby hippo. Why would I ever give birth to a baby hippo? That's dumb. Hardest thing that I've ever done probably would have been when I faced my fear of roller coasters. Like, I, I hated roller coasters. Like, fully hated them. I, they, I didn't like them. They scared me. And then in US 6, everyone was like, oh yeah, you're coming on it. Come on, it's roller coaster. <laughs> As you do, and yeah, I just I got on the roller coaster and it like fully scared, thinking I was gonna die. So, and now I just went, oh, yes, it's good, it's good. I used to be scared of roller coasters. Thirty-eight. What was the best slash worst gift you've ever received or given? It, it was after the PS4 originally got released. I thought I got a PS4 for Christmas, and it it wasn't a PS4. So I saw mum. Walking with his big box. See this big box? She's like, yo, I'm gonna open that. I open it, thinking it's a PS4. It turns out to be a pillow. Like, I think it was the worst because of the, the heartbreak I had after it. Like, I was so upset. I didn't want to show it though. 41. What was the first thing you bought with your own money? Probably a game. Probably a crappy game I bought. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at this. These are these are crap games I bought. Okay, okay, let's have a look. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Storm Rise. Bag of crud. It's the worst game ever. I, I didn't even go past the first level because of how bad it was. 42. When was the last time you were nervous? Oh, I remember exactly the time. My, my auntie used to have a football team, minute. it? And um, it was me and two other two other lads that was there, and we used to go off. And there was this big bush down the, down the one side of the field, and we used to go. And these three lads came in, and it, and it was like, you need to get out of here now. He, he turned around. This is the exact words he said. He said, "This is my granddad's bush. You need to get out now, or I'll hurt you." Okay. It's like, well, why can't we be in here? He's like, no, it's my granddad's. You need to get out. So apparently, his granddad owned a bush in the back of a playing field. And we had to get out of it, or else he was gonna hurt us, because we was in a bush. I couldn't understand getting hurt if we was in his house. We just walked in his house. But it was a bush. Right, okay, anyway, with the story. Okay, so we was scared, and it? And then, there was three of us. One of, the, one of us ran off. And then it was me and the kid with the metal pole. Instead of using the metal pole to defend himself, he threw it down at their feet and ran off, leaving me on my own. And then this kid over the other guys, there was three of them as well, and now it's three against one, and they had a big metal pole. Like, if I had a metal pole to defend myself, wouldn't you know, these three kids had a big metal pole, and it was three against one. So what did I do? And then so I just bombed it. I just bombed it, man. I was like Usain Bolt that day. I fully dipped out of that bush, and we never went in that bush again, man. Oh. Uh, 47, where's Waldo? Uh, he'll be in school tomorrow. 48. The best part of waking up is going back to sleep. Oh, God. 49. How now, brown cow? I don't know. That, that's Romeo and Juliet, because I heard, I heard what all those say that sometime. So, and, and 50. What, what is up? The sky is up. No, my ceiling's up at the minute, actually. And Kyle's head's up on a Tuesday. Sorry, Kyle. Had to be done. Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more. See you guys next time.